So the area I'm in right now is called Flint Ridge. It's a giant reserve, thousands of acres, and it basically was the site where Native Americans came and they dug these giant pits out of the ground and they quarried for flint. So there's hundreds of flint quarries here in this area. And what's special about it is that it was rainbow flint. It wasn't like normal flint, it looked really cool. It was more valuable for trading goods and uh, making weapons and tools and all sorts of things like that. These sinkholes basically are, you know, a few thousand years old and the Indians came here and they just, they dug them out and they were searching for this flint. So this particular location is an eight mile long vein of that flint under the ground, under the bedrock and everything. The actual vein or the area of flint could be anywhere from like two to probably 20 feet, I think I read. So it can be a pretty good amount of flint under there. I think the Native Americans found it and they mined up as much as they could. It's a Tuesday today and the actual museum is closed. So unfortunately I don't have any artifacts or jewels or tools or anything to show you as examples but maybe i'll find a couple pictures pretty cool park it's only about three miles of trails total so it is small it's definitely uh very important in terms of historic and um you know geological importance The last thing is this area is part of a larger area here in Eastern Ohio that was known to be the Great Indian Quarry of Ohio.
Cuyahoga Valley National Park in Ohio and this is Blue Hen Falls. I didn't really think that it would be any sort of big flow here or a raging falls or anything especially because it's fall and not spring when the snow is melting and all that so nothing too crazy to see here but still nice to see all the pretty fall colors and just to be out in the open air of nature again. I haven't done any hikes in a, in a little while now. So it's nice to be out in nature and this is a, a good return hike, definitely. 